Welcome everyone. This is Cape at Cape's Corner Creation back again today um, where I'll be walking you through this beautiful um, journal and let's get started. Well before I start um, I would like to ask you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be alerted when all the new videos come around. Alright then. This journal is dressed with this beautiful um, cotton fabric with little butterflies and flowers. So she's quite pretty. And she has the white cotton material to secure the spine with some ribbon. It's closed with this beautiful lace, um, which comes off. Also, we have a spine jewelry, which does come off. Let's take that off. It has this little butterfly charm at the top on this little um, clip. It has some buttons on this ribbon and some at the bottom and different ones. This piece has a uh, cluster of beads and buttons and material on a safety pin there. What else do we have here? Just more buttons. Oh, and we have another butterfly. So cute. You can see that. Let's see if I can get that for you. There we go. So pretty. So this dangle is um, colorful ribbons with charms and beads. The lace tie comes off so that it's not in your way while you're working. Let me just move that out of the way. There we go. This book, let's measure. This journal is about seven and a half inches long. It's five and a half inches wide. The spine is about one and a half inches, and the, it's quite chunky. And the gator mouth is five, just over five inches, just about five inches. So there you have it. She is loaded with uh, lace trim and ribbons and all kinds of lace and. Let's get started. She's a pretty hard cover. It's uh, cardboard with uh, extra layer of material. And on the front and the back cover, we have lined it with this pretty purple paper with a cloth, a uh, cotton piece of material over the spine, which secures the um, book cover and hold the signatures. It has two huge signatures, each of 40 pages. Makes it very chunky. So let's begin. Um, the inside cover here has a little card. It says, Things I Love, <coughs> so you can jot down your favorite things. Uh, or just a note, whatever, on your journal there. Or maybe the date when you started. This journal card in the back tuck, it's um, in the back pocket. We have two pockets here. It has a beautiful butterfly. Um, that was actually a piece of a napkin. Then when you take it off the, you know, separate the papers, it's very, very thin, delicate, but if you glue first and then put it down, it just gets right down there. Very pretty. This little flower I just drew on the back there. I'm going to tuck that in the back. There's another journaling card here with some stencil. And I slip that back in there. And then here we have the, um, little note that goes into all my journals 
and inside each one there is the name of the journal that I've given the name to and an explanation of what that means. And this journal's name is Butterfly, and which means the transformation, creativity, and endless potential. So that journal name has quite an offering for you, an inspiration to to travel through your journal and write things down. So there we go. Now over here is just some stenciling with some doily paper. And this little pocket has five uh, places to write. This is one of those little cups, like drinking cups that you probably made when you were a child and to get water or whatever there. We used to do that at school. And start in the back one. This is a piece of journaling paper. Um, not journaling paper. This is a uh, piece of paper from an old magazine that I have stacks of old craft magazines and they're probably more than um, some of them more than 50 years old because of they were mine, they were my mother's, they were my mother-in-law's, so they're, they're aged. But they were well used and now it's time for another use in the journals. <laughs> I've kept all my crochet patterns so that I still have. There's a piece of coffee dyed paper here for journaling on both sides. It's quite large. I'll slip that back in. Then we have a little tag for writing space on both sides with, of course, a little butterfly. We have butterflies everywhere. And then here's two more journaling cards, all different sizes. May come in handy with different sizes for an appointment or a note or phrase you might have heard and you want to keep, some words of wisdom. And then over here we have a vellum pocket with plenty of writing space here on the paper. There's three um, journal spaces here. This one is it says life is good. Of course with plenty of writing space on there and on the back side. And then we have a journaling tag with writing space. This is an ad from that old magazine stack that I have of selling um, flower seeds. And then a avocado dyed paper, a uh, little sheet of paper with a butterfly, don't you know, for your pleasure to write, to keep important dates or messages or whatever you put in your journal that back in there. There we go. Now over here, these are some Tim Holtz words I have uh, throughout the book. And this one says, adventure is worthwhile. Always an adventure. My days are always an adventure, that's for sure. I never know what's going on, but we make the best of it. Of course, we have our little butterfly. And inside this envelope is a photograph of a big bouquet of flowers that I took many years ago and I have all these photos and I said what am I going to do with them so I thought I would just make journaling cards out of them and add them to my journals so that's tucks in there and there's a piece of journal paper here that you can um, write on both sides a full sheet and also keep that in there so you have three places to write here on this page plenty of room for writing this page is just so pretty. The light is really glaring today. Um, but this says, if I can bring it up, great things take time. And when you look at that picture of the huge old tree right here and the weeping willows and the flowers and just the foliage, it's just so gorgeous. And it does take time for something like that to grow hundreds of years even. So we have beauty all around us. Over here is a little like pamphlet writing journal, a journal inside a journal. Little sunrise with a beautiful um, field of flowers. You can see that. I hear my dog shaking in the back. He's old and he doesn't like to be without me, so it's kind of hard to um, do anything without him. He cries and makes a fuss if I'm not nearby. So there's plenty of writing space there. 
and then there's a piece of paper in the back again with some um, writing pages I have it on three sides I can open it it's very thin old paper so yeah I added the papers to write on because it's fragile paper but there you go and that slips right in there and this slips in with a little um, it's a cloth piece of ribbon a belly band that holds those uh, papers in there with some lace and some butterflies they're hard to see with this bright light but see there they are and they're all throughout the book this full page is empty ready for you to journal add stickers put a picture says let life surprise you for sure I like surprises well sometimes I like surprises <laughs> hey, they're fun surprises and we have more journaling space back here and this little photo is another picture in my collection of photographs that I thought I would just use to make a tuck and this little design of different papers from an old um, encyclopedia colored in different inks uh, was an idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost, so thank you Pam. Give her a shout out. She has some great ideas. Over here, see possibilities everywhere. Well, like that other photo that kind of matched this one, the possibilities are endless um, when we stop and look. Look and listen. And more butterflies. This little uh, secret pocket is great to write your little secrets in there. Tuck it away. You could even add a little journaling card right there. And of course you've got writing space around a little um, cluster of fabric and lace, a little bling, a little paper. This is a great page. Uh, you have a, two journaling cards here tucked in the front of this paper bag and up here you have this large journal card this is a an old photograph of mine that was made from vintage um, fabric cotton fabric from the 40s that I had gotten hands on so uh, that was one of my projects many years ago and tucks in here but this is also very large and you could put many things inside that bag uh, for keep for storage Here's another page of journaling space, and this is ribbon with some purple uh, embroidery thread. I just thought it looked pretty with the, with the purple cover. More journaling space. This picture is just a really cute picture, and I loved it with the, with the butterfly and the daisy, so I just added some um, cloth flowers and some leaf ribbon and glued that down. And just how cute is that growing off the page? More journaling space, quite a large space here. There's a journaling card in the back. This is just a um, collage of old, very old dictionary paper. Very fragile, so I glued it to this um, paper here. It was in a book I had gotten in a vintage shop and it was marked 1942. The pages are very fragile, but it's coming in wonderfully for my journals. And then just some scrap papers that were on my desk and some old um, dictionary and a different dictionary paper. And then of course writing space on the back. So I really like that, that journaling card. This page you have writing space here. And these, this is an ad out of those old books that I talk about, my craft books, and it was old pattern numbers for the dress and pattern number for the jacket, and you could order them, um, I don't know, I don't know where it says, but anyway, I think through the magazine, and you could order them, mail order, and that was back in the 60s and the 70s, and then there's this really pretty, uh, embroidered edged lace that goes all the way down. I had glued it all the way over this page. And really pretty. And there's another cluster and then another little one of those booklets that is covered with stencil and butterfly on each page for all this writing. So you have 
many places to write there. Another full page of journaling space, writing space. Here we have more Tim Holtz words. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Hmm. Wants to hit, jump in my head and say, well, the unimaginable has been this last year, hasn't it? But we're, we're, we're all good. We're doing okay. And I am grateful for everything uh, in my world. And I hope that you are grateful for everything in your world, even though it can be a difficult time. We have to be grateful and help each other. Smile at people. It makes their day. And here's some avocado dyed paper. Um, and it comes out pink. And I just love it hard to see with my lights. The lights are very bright today, but um, my handy dandy cameraman isn't here at the moment, aka husband, and he's in charge of that part of the of my videos. Um, yeah, but anyway, here's some more writing space on this little flip out. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well, it's eight sides. You can write on most of them, so there's quite a bit of space there to write on, of course, with butterflies. This page I love. It's so cute. I use a little piece of paper bag, some stencils, a little piece from a child's book that says Butterfly Bowery, and you can write on the back of it. It's just ha hanging on here on a paper clip. And also here we have a little another little butterfly charm, which you could easily take off and put it on a bracelet or a necklace some stamps and here this beautiful stamped um, journal card with writing space and butterflies. So this is quite the butterfly page right there. So cute. This page has a little bling of course. We always, ha always have to have some bling. I love a little bling. I'm not very blingy but sometimes. Another photograph from my collection this pretty flower and journaling space on the back. Made a little journal card with that. Um, I have so many things in my possession. So over the years I've collected them to make uh, note cards and greeting cards and you know quilting and crocheting and all these things and drawing. So I definitely am uh, happy to share and add them to my journals. And there's a little uh, pocket down here with this little journal card with the flowery butterflies and more journaling space. And this cute little butterfly down here just made its home on this page. Over here we have a four pocket. It's all one piece. It was glued down as one piece. And I can uh, show you how to do that in one of my upcoming uh, tutorials. And there's four journaling cards here, all a little bit bigger in size as they go up. And um, they all have a map, a piece of white lace, some journaling space, some stenciling, all the way up as they go up there. It's a little bit bigger because each pocket is a little deeper than the next. And there you have it. I just love the way they stack. There you go. With more butterflies. <laughs> I know, that's getting old, right? But you always got to love a butterfly. We have right now, um, I'm in Middle Tennessee, and every year we have these yellow butterflies that migrate south, and they come through my backyard down, and they hug the tree line and follow the creek, and it's so fun to watch them every year. This is a flowery uh, piece of lace I cut off of old piece of lace. Some stencils, some writing space on the page, some paper bag uh, with butterflies. This page ready to write and the little butterflies have followed over on this page. It says remember to play. You always got to remember to play. You know, take time out of your day if it's five minutes and do something fun. It, it really change your mood and it really is good for um, just taking a break. Take that five minute break and write in your journal. <laughs> More writing space. This page is a piece of um, napkin. I think we used that in the beginning of the book. 
Uh, and it's just beautiful. So I'm incorporating it in my journal. It's just so pretty with the butterfly here and the little fairy sitting on the mushrooms with butterfly. This is just butterfly washi tape with some fringe cotton uh, lace trim. On the back side, there's another one of these little drinking cups with two journal cards for writing space. Slip in there, another full page. Um, this uh, pocket has three slips. Uh, the first one has a couple of journaling cards in there. The second one has a little uh, map of the United States. If you can see that. There you go. And oh, that reminds me when I look at that to uh, remember all the folks down in the Texas uh, and uh, New Orleans area that are experienced that hurricane there. Uh, we'll keep those people in our thoughts and hope everybody is safe and well uh, during that time. And then the top uh, card we have, this is just a cluster of scraps that I have on my desk. You know, we all have a scrap bin. When you journal, make journals, uh, junk journals, you just use all kinds of material and then you have these little scraps and you think at first you're going to throw them away, but then if you glue them all on this page, you have this beautiful little collage of washi tape and wrapping paper and writing paper and um, printed word paper and coloring paper and everything that you're using. And washi tape and just some lace and a ribbon. And it just brings it all together. And how cute is that? With plenty of writing space on the back. And it's a pretty hard card, so, you know, you could be using it under a page if you needed something hard to write on. Over here it says never give up, especially during difficult times. You, 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 you just never give up. Always put a smile, you know, listen to some music and get your, get your creative juices flowing again. This little uh, journal card was made out of a um, scrap piece of junk mail. It's kind of a cardboard ish kind of piece of uh, trash really and it had this really pretty design on it though pink flowers so it had an advertisement on the other side so I covered it with writing paper and um, put some stencils and some lines and made a journaling card out of it and a little washi tape and it's just beautiful we have more writing space another cluster more writing space. This is more uh, flowers out of the um, gardening book that I had, an old one. And I just love um, the little pictures of the little flowers. And of course some bling. We always have to have some bling. This paper is, um, um, I don't remember the name right off the bat, but I'll be listing that in my uh, supplies. Um, down below here everything has beauty even the little things a flower um, you know a pet e everything your children your grandchildren everything has beauty some more journaling space over here inside here we have two uh, a journaling tag for writing and this little card that actually has the um, you know penmanship lesson on there and then you can write here on the brown paper I love the the paper bag it's it's great for um, writing and here it says it's all perspective that's true isn't it here we have another envelope covered in uh, music paper inside there is a side pocket with journaling space over here this is a little piece of paper for journaling copy dyed paper and a little tag that has music on one side and journal space on the other Another photograph of my collection, a blue herring, and on the back side, journaling space. So, it's fun for me to share those photos. If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. Um, that's great words of encouragement. We're all a little different. <laughs> this page has uh, two different pages that I got from 
um, old encyclopedias. So it's a great way to use those pages up. And now everything's on the internet, so you don't need encyclopedias. Which I still love my hands and the paper, of course. I love paper because I love the journals, and I love a good book, and I love to read the books. And I still like mail. You know, the kind you put an envelope and you send in the mail. <laughs> um, recently, some family members have moved, and we've been doing writing and mailing. And I love getting mail from from them, and they love getting mail from me. So it's it's just it's just nice. This little butterfly pocket has butterfly stickers here and butterfly washi tape here, and of course butterflies on here. And this is a um, piece of music paper with writing space inside, and this music paper uh, also with writing space and butterflies on the back, and that just slips right in there. With some lace, some old lace. This is uh, three layers of paper. This paper here is that old paper from previous. It's soft, it's so nice, a little bit fragile, so I put a writing piece of paper on top of it to secure it. And it's just so pretty. Over here we have a journal tag for writing space in the back pocket. And in the front pocket, a piece of journaling paper, coffee dyed paper. Um, let me get that open. The butterflies. And things I love again. And then we have a little notebook. It's one, two, three, four, five. So there's ten sheets of paper there. You could put that in your purse or leave it in your journal. Oh, this piece is from a encyclopedia, and it's about yeast and bread making. And, you know, in today's world, more and more people are actually baking bread, and finding the yeast and the flour was tricky there for a while, but... It's all coming back, and here it says, it's the little things that make life big. And isn't it true that just making a loaf of bread is such a big deal, and it's so rewarding and delicious. So <laughs> it's a win-win all around. A little cluster with lace and paper and a little flower with this really pretty soft, like, um, it's almost like a, like a velvet ribbon. In the back here we have just a little pocket with some journaling cards there. This open page with all the leaves with fall coming. It kind of reminds me of fall. And some a little cluster. This page has a little blue butterfly up here. And down here it says, The air is like a butterfly with frail blue wings. The happy earth looks at the sky and sings. And that was written by Joyce Kilmer. I'm not really familiar, but I just found that somewhere, and I just loved it, so I put that with the little blue butterfly. And over here we have another blue page with a little blue washi tape, some lace, some papers, a journal card, and um, another one, another a blue journal card, and in this little clear pocket. It's really cute. Some lace. Another page from the um, napkin. And this is really pretty old lace that I trimmed it just so that you could have the just the flowery designs. So gorgeous. Here we have another um, uh, three uh, journaling uh, papers. A paper. A little card. This is from 1912 writing paper and this one is millinery ribbon straws and goods and it, you know that was like what they called the fabric stores back in the day and you don't see that anymore now it's just you know this store or that store but anyway here's another one of these take your coffee break uh, pages and or tea and or whatever and have yourself a little sit down and write in your journal. Here's some more tags. This one is a 
coloring paper with journal space and music paper with journaling space. There's a little envelope here that I made with inside. There's this, this is out of the paper bag. A little um, piece of paper for writing tucked away in here. For those secret memories or special occasions. This is another one of those pages out of those old magazines that I have, craft magazines, but they're really everything in there. And it's canning and freezing. This is pepper jelly and salad mix. And the recipes are right there, but I haven't made them, but might be fun. Another coloring page. And here's a little verse with some writing space, more writing space more writing space and then this is so cute this is a little I made this little um, flower pot of course with butterflies and this is um, more writing space a full page, page of coffee dyed writing space tucked into this little um, flower pot I little, drew that little flower and this is so cute this is a um, journaling card trifold with all this writing space. And you close it up like that. And tuck that right inside. And then we have our end. This picture I just love with the water running through and the rock and, and, the, and the earth and the plants and the flowers. Just nature right there. So beautiful. And here we have our last page with a journaling card and then this little envelope with three spots to journal on, these little tags, old sewing machine, I mean, yeah, sewing machine, typewriter, I don't know where that came from, uh, another typewriter, and all of them little tags, and you can write on all of them. This paper was a piece of uh, encyclopedia of Tennessee actually is where I'm living now. It's not where I'm from, but it's where I live now. And I thought, why not? And we made a little journal card out of that. And we tucked our little paper inside here for more journaling space. And there you have it. So this, let me get that in there. And this tucks right back in here in the back cover. So with that, um, I hope you enjoyed this journal, the walkthrough of this journal. The journey was um, so fun for me to design and make. It uh, can be found on my Etsy shop. And um, I believe that you can find... Capes Corners Creation on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and of course my Etsy shop. And all the links will be listed below. And I'll try to list um, some of my tools as well. So thank you for being here with me today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.